Hey, how's it going? It's Uncle Josh. We're back on Uncle Josh Gaming. We're gonna get back into some uh, No Man's Sky. Pick up where we left off from last time. Lots of different, uh, lots of different places. over this way, I guess. Assistant Earthles. So the only word we know is Gek. I can't make out any of the other words yet. The alien squeals as I approach. They seem excited to see me. Though I cannot understand their babbling tongue. Perhaps they would recognize the signal mentioned by the base computer. Ask about 16. A look of surprise crosses the lifeform's face, and they release a strange smelling gas. This appears to signify our conversation is over. Okay. Let's talk to... Officer Hole. <laughs> and I can't make it anything that he's saying. The life form puffs himself up as I approach, making the most of their impressive size. Perhaps they might recognize the signal mentioned by the base computer. Alright, let's ask about 16. Hearing the code seems to cause the life form to shrink, a look of fear crossing their face, and then, in an instant, the fear passes. They look at me strangely, but say nothing more. Broker Randaski. And I understand nothing of what Broker Randaski says. The life form chatters away, assessing me with beady, inquisitive eyes. But when I blink, I see that same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. Repeat 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away and I see the life form blinking at me expectingly. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. Alright, so let's leave. Alright! The space station. Every space state, every system has a space station serving as its hub. Speaking to life forms aboard the space station brings the chance to trade, learn words, or gain standing. Visit technology merchants to upgrade your ship and equipment. Visit the cartographer for directions to outposts and other buildings. Take missions from the mission agent to earn valuable rewards, and then. Use the teleporter to instantly return to your base. Okay. The encoded message has been stored for later use. When ready to leave, use the teleport terminus to return to your base. Tell me, traveler, does your homeworld have plentiful light? Is the soil bountiful? The air rich in oxygen? Uh, say it does. Oh, friend, what joy. I shall grow such produce. Oh, 
let's talk to this prospector. Pro prospector Sid Lapido. I know nothing. <laughs> Follow up closely, the Gek appears to be secreting a greasy substance from their skin. The oil covers their body, rolling into their cracks and crevices. It smells sweeter than I anticipated. Perhaps I should give the Gek some privacy. Let's request dialect help. Prospector Siblapido yelps with excitement. They're present. Oh, they present their data pad, displaying a list of language symbols. Alright, let's go with friendship symbol. Ah, you've learned the Gek word for help. I don't know anything that he's saying. And that's just repeating the same blurb as before. Let's practice language skills. I inhale thinking through some of the Gek words I am confident of pronouncing. Uh, helps. Prospector Sipilapido looks worried. Wondering where I have learnt this word. Oh, they offer me a small gift in an effort to help. I learned it from you. Oh, I got a glowing material. We'll talk to Toil Gek Uboris. Now I don't know anything he's saying. If we'll look closely, the Gek appears to be secreting a greasy substance from their skin. The oil covers their body, rolling into their cracks and crevices. It smells sweeter than I anticipate. Eh, perhaps I should give the Gek some privacy. Alright, let's request some dialect help. Toil Gek Ubores mimes excitedly, performing a series of actions that seem to represent words I might learn. Uh, let's try a mystery symbol. You have learned the Gek word for the. Oh, no words understood in that exchange. So we'll practice language skills. To toil Gek. Ubores is delighted by this interspecies transaction. I recall the first Gek words that come to mind. Uh, helps. Ubores looks concerned, interpreting this word as a sign of distress. They recharge my suit's life support. Alright, let's leave. Research entity... Etol Gatch. <laughs> I don't understand that. The lights in the electronic life forms mask casing seems to constrict. They tilt their heads slightly as they chatter at me, perhaps wondering what it is that I want. Oh, I want dialect help. I feel a light jolt pass between me and research entity Etol Gok. Strange symbols form in my mind, each representing a concept I might learn. Corvox symbol. So I've learned the Corvox word for Corvox. Okay. Let's practice language skills. I recall some of the Corvox words I have learned in the hopes of impressing research entity Etel... Et... Lulgok. Corvox. Ah, he reacts powerfully to this word, gripping my hand tightly. I feel a spark of energy pass between us. Nice. My standing increase. Guard do any? I don't understand any words. The warrior seems preoccupied with a series of images of Exocraft. 
They appear to have been assembled from several different sources and then taped together. Request dialect help. Guard do any barks with agree, uh, aggressive enthusiasm. They present their data pad displaying a list of language symbols. Let's go travel. Guard do any teaches me a word of their language. I've learned the Viking word for where. I don't understand anything that he's saying. <laughs> Unfortunately, the warrior, yeah, he seems preoccupied. So let's try to practice some language skills. I inhale, thinking through some of the Viking words I am confident of pronouncing. Uh, where? Do any looks me up and down, respecting the importance of a personal journey. They provide a map to a nearby point of interest. Oh. Planetary chart contains directions to a point of interest. Access the planetary chart in your inventory and plot route with X. Collect new charts from the cartographer. Okay. Oh, beginner. Learn five words. Very nice. Okay. Oh, there it is. Planetary chart. Alien artifact detected. Okay, so I visited these ones. What about this guy? Specialist Imbrem... Imbrentum? don't know anything. <laughs> the Gek seems absorbed in a display of fa uh, flashing red lights on the screen in front of them. They stab at the buttons periodically the lights flash yellow. This accompanied by a fanfare and appears to please the Gek a great deal. Let's request dialect help. Specialist in Brentum tilts their head from side to side as they consider me. They consult a note on their data pad, then present a list of language symbols. Let's go with uh, technology. Ah, I've learned the Gek word for ship. I don't know anything he's saying. So let's practice language skills. Specialist in Brentum presses their fingertips together eagerly. I hurry to think of an appropriate word to say. Uh, ship? Specialist in Brentum looks over their equipment puzzled. They seem offended. Huh. Engineer Anks. I don't understand anything that this Viking is saying. The warrior looks at me sharply. I've clearly interrupted their concentration. They stowed the small knife they were spinning around their fingers. Alright, let's request dialect help. Engineer Inks swings their arms, performing a dramatic series of actions that represent words I might learn. Uh, friendship symbol. Ah, so I've learned the Viking word for help. Oh, I've already talked to this person. I want to talk to the other one. Practice language skills. So we're going to practice language skills. Engineer Ank seems impressed by my intention to communicate in the Viking tongue. I recall the first words that come to mind. Where? Engineer Ank shanks their head. If I am lost, they cannot help me. Alright.
Toil Gek Yashkiv Kati. I don't know anything he's saying. As I approach the Gek, I become aware of a thin mist surrounding them. It is lightly, almost pleasantly scented. Nonetheless, I cannot help but feel a deep apprehension. Request dialect help. Toil Gek Yashkiv Kati tilts their head from side to side as they consider me. They consult a note in their data pad, then present a list of language symbols. Let's go with trade symbol. Toilgek Yashkov Kadi teaches me a word of their language. Oh, I've learned the Gak word for trade. Okay, so let's practice language skills. Toil Gek Yashkiv Yashkiv Kadi presses their fingertips together eagerly. I hurry to think of an appropriate word to say. Help? A sudden and unpleasant scent causes me to sneeze violently. Toil Gek Yashkiv Kadi, a scowl upon their face, seems disinclined to offer unpaid assistance. Alright, let's leave. Aww. I lost standing. Outpost 37A slash 97P Galactic Trade Terminal. Student learned eight words. Oh, not alone. Met ten aliens. Oh, I can buy things here. That's cool. What can I sell? Geknip? We'll sell that. We'll sell the rusted metal. Then I'm gonna keep the rest of the stuff. Mission agent. Oh, teleport terminus. And then there's the other side of the space station. Starship Outfitting, Purchase Improvements, Salvage Ships, Appearance Modifier, Recalibrate Personal Visuals. Oh, here we go. Anomaly, Gek, Traveler, Horavox. I'll be an Anomaly. One. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, we'll keep that. I like the look of that. Alright, now 
the torso. Something like that. Space suit boots, heavy boots, slick boots, steel boots. Pretty good. Oh no! I lost all my hard work. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Stick with the first one. Yeah, kind of like that. save it. Oh, yeah, I want to save changes. There. Now he's looking pretty sharp. Exosuit upgrade. Okay. So I can either install into the general technology or cargo. So I'm going to go with cargo. Yes, technology merchant for the exosuit. Paraffinium, I'm gonna move that over to the ship. Open that up, and the gold nugget. There, now I've got some gold. And I'm gonna head back to uh, head back to the base. Uh, 
mission agent. The life form gestures apologetically. Their exact meaning is unclear, but it is apparent that there is no work for me here. All right, so I can't do anything there yet. So let's hit X on station terminus, and then we're going to warp to Kaliu Paul outpost. Now we should be back at that whole wooden base. I'm on the planet New Rain. So we're going to search the base computer archives. Archives terminated. Select new task. Begin decryption. Decoding. 16. 16. 16. Message follows. The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. I gotta reach the decoded coordinates. So now we gotta make our way. Oh. oh. Oh, would you look at this? Namarv Post. Let's save and chart this unknown sector. Got some navigation data. MS Wings of Anomaly. Log damaged. Partial records available. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log blinking, awaiting input. Request log. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. So we're going to take the blueprint. 
I pulled the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. Nice. Hyperdrive, light speed warp drive, FTL propulsion drive that allows Starship to attain warp speed and jump between neighboring systems. User is advised to access hyperdrive systems through galactic map. I need 125 chromatic metal and a microprocessor. I need five of them. Alright, so we need to begin hyperdrive installation. Alright, so we're gonna press X. And then we're gonna install the technology, but we don't have enough of any of these, so... Okay, so now I need to acquire components, purchase microprocessors, then I need to acquire components, refine chromatic metal. Alright. Oh, new guide entry unlocked. Making money. Sell items for units on the Galactic Trade Network. Find Trade terminals and space stations, outposts and shops, mine precious metals from asteroids in space, or use the analysis visor to locate valuable resource deposits on planets. The mission board on space stations is a good source of income. Visit the mission board to find available jobs. See the mission board entry for more details. Install an economy scanner in your starship to gain access to economic data on the galaxy map. Then plan trade routes to maximize profit. Find complementary economy types for the perfect trade route. Farming can be highly lucrative. Find a good balance of crops and use them to craft new items. Okay, so I need more money. Cargo pod? Oh, it needs chromatic metal. Let's try it. Salvage frigate module. Okay, glowing mineral. Let's analyze it. Lemium. again. Oh, it needs chromatic metal that I don't have. Copper, copper, copper. 
but I need copper for chromatic metal, so... to the chromatic metal or the copper de uh, deposit and then we're gonna try to make some chromatic metal Oh, what do you know? There's a knowledge stone. I've learned the geck word for friend. I need an advanced mining laser? Oh, no I don't. Now we're gonna mine this. Just like that. Paraffinium deposit. up into space. Tritium Hypercluster.
there just like that. There we go, got more gold. Another paradise planet. Anuzu T thirty five. A barren planet. Cactus flesh copper pyrite and salt. Mirth. H43 Quagmire Planet New Rain So there's other planets That I'm either not seeing or a decaying nuclear planet, Odega five nine. I need uranium for the launch launch uh, thruster so we'll come here do some scanning Land here. External radiation with five point two. So let's do some scanning. No quintite.
Weed Nidium? Good Weed Nidiums. Travel ten kilometers. Radiation protection stabilizing. Restore shield. Ugh. Yeah, it's been a long day. A long day at the office. Alright. Let's press on. Oh, encrypted uh, data. Got some nanites. Uh, check stock transfer. Got some units. Extract nanites. Fifty-five nanites. Oh, got a, some carbon. Save and chart. Navigation data. Okay, so we're gonna take that rusted metal, put it in the exosuit high capacity storage. Ooh, ship launch fuel. That's just what I needed. Radiation protection. Falling. Oh, where did that, uh... Slash of for ya. So I can use some of the uranium or... Go like this. Technology recharge. Do some more scanning. Need more uranium. Not oh, a geode. Radiation protection falling. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. Get some uranium here. Protection. 
got another geode. There we go. I got another geode. A bunch of uranium, but I want to scan for life forms. Space Trucker earns 75,030 units. Okay. Technology is that what I think it is? No, it's not. I thought I was a bunch of uranium. Oh, that's a bunch of cobalt over there. So I think we're going to call it a wrap for today. We made some pretty good progress, progressed the plot some. There, I got my plot points saved, so. Yeah, this was uh, another installment of Let's Play No Man's Sky with Uncle Josh here on Uncle Josh Gaming. We'll see you in the next video. See you next time.